So I was talking to one of my older clients the other day and they were asking me what I felt was the, our current area of expertise. Mm. I know what I said to them, but I'd be interested in what you think. Okay, I wonder if I'm going to give the same answer. Um, I think that where we are more and more delivering real value is around that senior intact team. So what I mean by intact is that they are a team that function and they have to kind of work together. Um, and actually at that senior level, so often there's an assumption made that they're senior, they must be okay. And I think some of the work that we do with them, which is about challenging them, agitating them, really kind of breaking down some of this, the dynamics that exist in the team, that's where we can deliver some great value because the impact then filters down through the whole organisation. So thinking about senior intact teams, what work really stands out for you that we've done really well? I think most recently there's a, there's a particular team um, that surprised me how dysfunctional they were when we first started working with them. I think one was there was a very low level of trust um, and that sort of false sense of har harmony that they all get in a room together and say the right things and all nod and then go out of the room and do something completely different because they don't buy into it. Um, and not being genuinely willing to hold each other to account for whatever the mutual goal was. And so it was more just getting to them, them to a place where we could create a safe psychological place where they were willing to say what they wanted to say, to say the stuff that hadn't been said for a long time. And then once they got to that place, it was then getting them to all agree what were the barriers that were getting in the, w in the way of them being a really, really effective team, rather than just a group of individuals who'd all got their own agendas and aspirations. It's really interesting you say that, because one of the things I think that we do really well at that senior level is we almost kind of throw away the what's the programme design bit of it <laughs> um, that, that is so often required when you're delivering at a lower level and say, we're coming with this box of stuff that we can use, but actually the skill is in the, the facilitator or coach is working with that team, mm. being able to flex and adapt and understand what's going on here and now and what do, I, what do we need to do to help them get through this. And I think that's where we're really strong because the facilitators we use have the skill to do that rather than just following a timetable. I think what, I, what I've noticed that our team brings to that type of environment as well is having facilitators who are very well experienced but are also really talented coaches who can team coach. Because I think in that environment you're not teaching skills and frameworks and models. Oh, you can do, but it all ends up being a very intellectual exercise that everyone nods and carries on doing what they've done for the last 30 years. But if you can get a really effective team coach that can really facilit facilitate a conversation that they haven't been able to have by themselves, I think that really helps those senior teams move on to the place that they need to be at.